Hey guys, it's Boxbro. Welcome back to another video today in Fallout 76. I'm going to be talking about how to get the Pepper Shaker and how to get the Pepper Shaker mods and like what the best mod setup is. And then I'm going to go ahead and show a sneak peek of this perk card build that I'm working on and it's going to be kind of revolving around the Pepper Shaker and like focusing on making the Pepper Shaker as strong as it possibly can. So yeah, let's get started. So the only way to get the Pepper Shaker as of right now, which is 8, 18, 20, uh, 21, it is pretty much to do the Meat Week event that is currently ongoing. And um, in order to do the event, there's, if you need like an event guide, I'll have that linked in the description. Um, but like a really easy way to just try and farm the plans um, from this event is just to AFK on these barrels here. Um, you can like leave the computer, you know, go do whatever, go outside or something, and you can just leave your character on the barrels or leave them on these meat spinners. These, uh, yeah, these meat splits. Character will not be DC'd from the server, and every hour when the meat week event begins or when the cookout begins, you'll get credit for it, and then you'll get some a chance at the pepper shaker plan drop um but yeah so once you get the pepper shaker plan from the event and you learn it then you'll be able to actually craft pepper shakers and you can craft level 50 pepper shakers and then you'll have to use legendary modding to roll the uh, pepper shakers i'll have a video coming out soon with me rolling a bunch of pepper shakers and eventually i get this one uh which is a breaks 50 percent slower uh, damage increases as health decreases so bloodied with action point refresh on each kill so after rolling a bunch of pepper shakers i pretty much got this bloody pepper shaker it's not the best roll but it's not bad either um and yeah i've been testing it out it's not too bad um so next i'm gonna go ahead and talk about the mods now that you know how to get the pepper shaker itself and with the mods you can go to any gold bullion vendor so you could go to regs at vault 79 you can go to the vendor at crater or the vendor at the foundation so i'm gonna go ahead and head to foundation just for the purpose of this video and show you guys all right, so now that we are at Foundation, we can head on over to the Gold Bullion Vendor here. And the Gold Bullion Vendor for the settlement, or for the settlers, is going to be Sam. And we can go ahead and interact and trade Gold Bullion. And if we scroll down right here, you're going to see the Pepper Shaker plans. I already bought a couple of them, so that's why most of them are known. Um, but I think one of them I left. Yeah, it's right here. Pepper Shaker Dual Barrel. Um, so yeah, so this is where you can get them, and it's gonna cost- they're, honestly, they're pretty cheap in terms of gold bullion. Um, yeah, let's talk about best mods. So there's a single barrel, a dual barrel, and then there is a hex barrel. And then there's a gunner sight, and then there's, I think, two types of ammo. There's gonna be, um, fusion cell, and then, uh, the laser cartridges. Um, and so yeah, let's go ahead and go through them. Um, the best setup for the Pepper Shaker as of right now in terms of DPS, like if you want to maximize DPS for the gun, is going to be a fusion cell, hex barrel, and then you're going to want to just put the gunner sight on there as well because that just adds some accuracy. So I'll show you guys my current setup right here. So right now it is a hex barrel with the laser magazine and gunner sight, and that's going to be pretty much the best mod setup for DPS. Um, I went ahead and did some DPS comparisons. If you're wondering like how much damage this thing can output, um, pretty good. And I can kind of show you guys a little bit of combat at West Tech, just so you guys can get like an idea of the damage. I do want to say that with this weapon test, it is a bloodied weapon. I am running Adrenal Reaction. I have Nerd Rage, Emergency Protocols. I have... Um, stabilized working with it i also have enforcer and one gun army working with it for double stagger and cripple chance which actually stacks i have skeet shooter for the accuracy and i am actually running a hundred percent weapon damage bonus um so this is like a little bit of a demonstration with the setup so yeah this is like how strong it is and right now i'm mostly just aiming for the head but So right there, it was like eight shots to kill. But you can kind of get an idea. Like it, it kills them pretty quick. Um, and I'll kind of give you like a demonstration. So this is level 75. If I do all headshots, it's eight bullets to kill. And yeah, it only holds 50 in the mag, and there's no way to increase the magazine capacity unless you have a quad version. Um, but I think the damage from bloodied is is pretty substantial and what's really good is the reload speed it is not too bad 
but I need to reload speed buffs. Um, but I'll go ahead and make a build video pretty soon on this, and there'll be some options if you want more utility or if you want more damage. There is a way to stack 60% reload speed on this weapon and make it reload super quick. Um, but yeah. And that's going to finish up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. It's a really quick video on just how to get Pep Shaker and the best mods. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. Any positive or negative feedback, also let me know. That way I can improve. But otherwise, until next time.